Hey guys, Carter here with Patriot Training Center. Today I want to talk to you about why unsighted fire or point shooting is really stupid. There are still schools out there that teach uh, that point shooting is a good thing and I think that that's wrong and it's pretty irresponsible to, to teach students not to use their sights when they're on their gun. The only exception to that is when you're up extremely close, extreme quarter, close quarters, like if you have to shoot from right here, from retention. Obviously you can't get on the sights and maybe some uh, really close retention shooting or uh, being at the compressed ready or something. Um, Extreme close distances, it makes sense obviously because you don't want to put the gun right here uh, in your eye target line. But anything past those contact distances, it's really stupid to teach people not to use their sights. Uh, when we're shooting things out in the real world, uh, there's no such thing as misses, only unintended hits. So that bullet's going somewhere, you need 100% accountability where those shots are going. The other side of it is, it doesn't take that much longer to actually use your sights. You could use a flash sight picture. So um, at three yards, you could get a, just a sliver of a, either your iron sights or your red dot, and you could fire pretty accurately close. I'm gonna shoot at seven, and I'm gonna just use unsighted fire where I don't look at my sights at all. Um, and then I'll do it where I'm looking at my sights. So uh, you'll, you'll see it's not that much slower for me to do it and I can get a lot better hits that way. So it look, so I got two alphas and I missed one. Uh, that one was probably the first one before I got the gun up. Still two alphas, but I have a miss that I don't know where it went. It's somewhere off the target, not ideal. I shot it in a one, two, five. My draw to first shot was a 8.5, which is actually not that much faster than I could do with a sided fire. Okay, so now I'm gonna do sided fire. Uh, I'm gonna pull up, gonna go three shots to the A zone. We'll see how my time is and see how my accuracy is. All right, so that was a 1.4.0, not too fast. My draw to first shot was still sub second, uh, but it wasn't great. This is shot at seven yards. So my hits though are much better. I got one just a little bit outside the A zone. Um, I probably let that one rip just a little before it was ready. And then I have two alphas. So that's much, much better than missing the whole target. Um, and very, very comparable as far as speed goes. Um, especially you can't really decipher a lot a lot of difference between the two without the actual shot timer. So using your sights is better. The nice thing is uh, if you train using your sights, you build a really good index and your point shooting becomes better. It's not transferable the opposite way. If you only point shoot, you will never be able to use your sights good. So training to get your sights indexed out on target is really fast. And that's an idea of point shooting, right? Is you wanna be able to point the gun and have your sights on index instantly. That's the big difference. You need to train to look at your sights fast. Now I'm gonna shoot it at 10 yards. All right, so the farther we get back, the worse it's gonna get as far as not using your sights, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna use point shooting, just using the reference of the gun. I'm not gonna bring the gun into my eye target line. I'm just gonna try and go for the A zone, but we'll see if I can even hit the target. I'll go three rounds again. All right. Well, I shot the clip off of here, off of my target. All right, so looks like I was one, two, three. Pretty rough. If we're using that in a uh, self-defense context, those are no good hits. Uh, I saw it in a one, two, nine, which is great, but who cares if I'm not in the target, right? All right, I'm gonna shoot this at 10 yards uh, using side of fire. We'll see how fast I can get three rounds, uh, hopefully semi-accurate. All right, let's take a look here. I got three alphas. My draw to first shot was a little bit, yeah. My draw to first shot was at one second. So not much of a difference from 0.89 uh, to one second, especially when you talk about having three alphas instead of misses off of the target. So you're not really slowing down that much, but your accountability goes way up and you can still shoot fast. So using index to target and verifying your sights, it's a much better way to verify your accuracy and be more accountable for your shots without really slowing you down that much. 
The best way to get a good index is through dry fire. We have a 30 day dry fire program in the description below. Go click that link, check it out. And we'll catch you guys in the next one.